Today we will be testing uh, the silver content uh, to make sure that it is pure. Um, and in order to do that, we have different silver uh, bars from different companies, yeah, just to make sure that it's consistent. We will be using this silver testing solution, which is, uh, let's see, nitric acid and muriatic acid. And what happens is if the color turns red while using the acid, then it is 0.999 silver or pure silver. If it turns white, then it is 0.925 silver, which is sterling silver. And I've noticed that when it turns, or if it turns a bluish green color, then it's not silver. It's usually copper. Here we have a 10 gram bar of silver from this, these guys on eBay which is Tom Smith 196012 okay so in essence I'll be testing their silver I have three three bars from them which is this 10 ounce bar then I have the one ounce I'm sorry this is a 10 gram bar not 10 ounces 10 grams then I have from Tom Smith the one ounce bar and then I have the 10 pieces of the one gram bar okay and then here of course is the solid pure uh, one kilo kilogram which is 32.1 ounces of 0.999 silver from OPM metals and we have the big boy which is the 100 ounce bar from Atmex which is a very reputable company okay so why don't we start the test Let's go ahead and start with the $1 bar that we know is not silver. We just want to go ahead and see what color it turns to using the solution. Okay, there you see it's turning a little bit yellowish and I see a little green coming out. Okay. And there you see it's starting to turn a little bit blue. Again, 0.999 silver is supposed to turn red. Okay, so while you're looking at that, I'm going to go ahead and open up the 10 gram bar right here. And this is from the Tom Smith. Let show that later. Okay. So let's go ahead and put some acid on here and see what happens. As you can see, the $1 coin, the US coin, is, is turning blue. And here, the Tom Smith uh, 10 gram bar is turning red, like a blood red. That right there is 0.999 silver. Now let's go ahead and try and test another one of their bars, which is just beautiful, one ounce bar and I kind of don't want to test this because it's, it has such a beautiful design yeah but I will sacrifice the bar to do the test maybe I'll go ahead and test it on this side here okay so here we go hmm where should I what side should I sacrifice here let's see here right there okay let's watch that turn color okay and since we're on a roll why don't we go ahead and choose silver from a different company? This right here is from, I believe, it's a Canadian maple leaf from RCM or Royal Canadian Mint, which is, I think, the purest silver of all, which is four nines, 0.9999. Okay. Okay, which side should I do? I guess I should try to do this side here. Okay, see, now it's starting to be color. We already saw that one. This one is turning blue. We already saw that one. I want to take it out. Do you see how it destroys the silver? The acid is kind of nasty, and that's why I'm wearing gloves. That right there is red, okay? So we know that that's 0.999 silver. Well, let's see this one right here. Oh, Okay. As we are looking at that one, I'm going to go ahead and take out a one gram silver bar right there. And that's also from uh, eBay's Tom Smith store. One nine six zero one two. 
If you, if you see here, the maple leaf, which is from a totally different company, look, is turning red. Yeah? This one is all done. Let me take that out. Yeah? So we know that, that, the, uh, that the maple leaf is 0.999 silver. Yeah, look how red is turning. Okay. Let me take that out. Oh, look at that. I just destroyed that coin, but oh well. Here, the one gram coin from eBay's Tom Smith is also turning a bright or deep red. So that also tells us that that right there is also 0.999 silver. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and try this one bar that I that you think that it's silver. Well, it is silver, but it's silver clad. Let me wipe this off. Before it. Okay. It says one troy ounce of silver, 0.998 silver, but again, it is silver clad. Why don't we go ahead into the back? Beautiful design. Let's see what happens here. Let me get a nice drop. Okay. Okay, it's turning kind of a yellowish, bluish, green. Oh, same color as this one. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this one again. Yeah, let's watch that one. There we go. It's turning a bluish color now. This right here, the clad, ate right through the silver. And now it's, it's um, uh, eating away. You see it bubbling there? Well, I can smell it. The, the acid is eating away it. And we do know that this clad plate uh, uh, bar here is copper based. Okay, so same with this. It's turning the same color, as if you can see. Kind of a bluish color. Okay. We do know that this is copper base. We do know that this is copper base. So it's very consistent. It's that same bluish color. Okay, let me wipe that off. Okay, now let's go ahead and test the big boys. The big guns, let's call them. From OPM Meadows. And also from Atmex. The 100 ounce. Oh boy. Which side should I use? I should use this side here. Okay, here we go. Oh, I would hate to do this, but I have to. Get a good drop in there. Here, right there. Let's get a good drop in there. Right there. Okay, now let's watch. Again, it should turn that deep red color in order for it to be that 0.999 silver. There it is. Look at that. It's turning deep red. Okay. So that tells me that the Atmix bar and the OPM bar is 0.999 silver. It is turning that red color. Okay. All right. I, I don't want to, I don't want the acid to eat and destroy too much of my silver bar. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off. Ah, oh, look at that. How am I going to get that off? Oh, well, that's okay. I don't think I can because no matter how much I wipe, look, it's kind of, I can actually feel the indention in there. Yeah. Okay, now what we're going to do is to test the, Tom's, the eBay's Tom Smith bar even more. I'm going to go ahead and use a grinder to grind down these metals. And then about halfway, I'm going to grind it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and test again to make sure that it's pure silver all the way through. Remember now, this is the one ounce bar, and this right here is the 10 gram bar, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and grind down these two. Put on my safety goggles, get my grinder ready with this pliers, and here we go. That's about halfway. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the one ounce bar. That was the one gram bar. Let's do the one ounce bar. Hmm. 
That's too bad. I guess I want to go ahead and do this side here. Okay, here we go. halfway can you see it the thickness yeah I went down about halfway maybe a little bit more Ooh, getting kind of smoking oh that's bright red also look at that okay Ooh, smoking that's what we're gloves here okay let's do this acid test one more time just to make sure it's eating right through the silver. It's really eating through. Look at that. Nice bright red. Ooh. The reason why I, I continue to wipe it off is because I don't want to start a fire. See, look at that. It's starting to warp. See it? Okay, let's do it one more time. Just want to make sure. There we go. Okay, bright red. Ooh. Okay. okay, so now I wanted to make sure that you understand that these three here tested are pure 0.999 silver. These two tested were not silver. I think they were copper. Okay. So let's very quickly, I want to show you what it looks like again. There we go, there we go, and there we go, right? Very consistent colors, that bright red. Okay, ooh. The fumes, and here we go. We have this one there, and the American Eagle, the $1 coin. Get away, bubble. Yeah. It's eating through... And I, I presume that the blue, the greenish blue color, because this one is starting to turn a greenish color, is the reaction of the acid with the lead. Not lead, copper. Copper. Okay, so just so that you can see the different colors. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Why don't we go ahead and bring in the oh, NPR bar. Boom. And of course, the bar from Atmex. Boom. Okay. Oh, this is destroying the silver bar, this acid. Look at that. Okay, let's try good old the Canadian maple bar from Royal Canadian Mint. Okay, there you have it. Look, the 0.999 silver, the pure silver, almost pure silver, is turning all this red color, whereas the clad and the, the $1 coin is, has turned that bluish color. Okay, and there you have it. Here we have the pure silver. These three, this one here, and this one are considered 0.999 or pure silver. And then you have these two here, which is copper based. This right here is silver clad. Okay. So this company here, okay, they produce these three silver bars the one ounce the 10 gram and the 1 gram bar. Okay. Thank you for watching.